Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we're going to get back into the Red Deer grind. As uh, it's been a week or so since we jumped on here and hunted some Red Deer. Been doing a lot of elk hunting recently and I figure it's time we uh, get back on that Red Deer grind. Try to get ourselves another great one with the Glock this time. Because I really want to get a Glock great one. I feel like that would just be so cool. If we can eventually make that happen. Oh, no worries, Smash. No worries, dude. Have fun, man. Have fun. Oh, and also, we do have a piebald on the map that we're going to be shooting at the end of the stream. Let's uh, start with this guy first, though. Ooh, I don't have a 22 on me. I should probably grab that. Uh, 24, Joey. 24. Do we have a, do we even have enough for the 22 handgun? Ah, oh, gosh, it hits right on the dot, which makes it not a thing. Okay. What can I even empty out of my inventory? I don't even know. Um. Twenty gauge buckshot, I guess. I, I'm never gonna use that. There we go. Now we need to make room for a sight. Oh, the easy. Just get rid of the Devani reflex for now. Perfect. Okay, now we have a twenty-two in our loadout, so that I can use the twenty-two trick. Nice NC. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, Josh. That is uh, really lucky. That's our little pie guy. Wait, where did the uh, where did the diamond go? Right there. Okay. Beautiful. That is the type of shot we're looking for. Ah, uh, you didn't miss anything, local hunter. We just started up. I already said, Toyota. I'm 24. Anything over here? There's a couple. Oh no, Max, that's unfortunate, man. Oh, and I'll be right back, guys. My daughter is at the door at the moment. I gotta see what she wants. Alright. 
I am back. First diamond of the day. Now, let's go get these other two that we just smoked. Uh, my daughter's one and a half, uh, Dylan. One and a half years old. Hey, Soul Hugh, how's it going? Hey, Parker. Hope everybody is doing super amazing today. Did we not hit this other one good? Kinda looking like we didn't. I've done that a long time ago, Dad Hunter. And why are you spamming, man? There's no need to put that three times in a matter of, like, one minute. That is just unnecessary. And quite frankly, obnoxious. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Nice, soul. Yeah, I used the 300 on them just to get them down quicker. It saves tracking time. Hey, Leo, how's it going, man? Glad you could make it. Uh, no, Parker, you haven't missed anything. We just started up. Uh, yes, YGB. It actually, uh, I actually do have the great one count in the title as well. We've killed three great ones in 16,000 kills. Nice hurdle. Nice, dude. Little level five there. Oh, gosh. You know, one of these days we'll hit a shot. And that'll be the day that a uh, scarecrow becomes the greatest hunter of the world. Because right now I can't hit a single shot. <laughs> okay, nothing there yet. Nice, Ron, that's awesome. Nice, Parker, that's awesome, dude. Up to 2,000 on the grind at the moment. Nice, YGB. Yeah, the thing about great ones is, uh... They sometimes can show up super quick, and other times it takes a long time. The current grind, I am 4,360 kills in. Been f just over 4,300 since our last great one showed up. I've got a few videos on the new duck hunting uh, soul. I would recommend checking out um, some of the first like Rev on Tule Coast videos that I did because I, I do quite a bit of duck hunting in those and kind of talk about what I'm doing as we go. All right, let's go to some of the lakes that we don't hunt super often. See if there's any stragglers that kind of ended up at other zones. Yeah, hopefully yeast, hopefully, man. I don't have one, Dad Hunter. I don't have one. Hey, Rexy, how's it going, dude? 
First time in Plains Bison yesterday. Nice, Frag. Hey, Ben. Hope you've been uh, doing good. Yeah, you're pretty lucky, honestly, Johnny. Like, you've had really good luck. Especially with that big super rare in there as well. Uh, no, Josh. I can see your chats. Are black gold hogs rare? No, they are not. Only the, uh... Only the wild boar black gold is considered rare. For the feral hogs, that's just a common. Alright, that was the only one over there. Uh, of course, Toyota, but it depends on which one. Because, you know, obviously, like, every topping that goes on a pizza, it has other toppings that it goes well with. You gotta mash the correct toppings to get really anything to work. Toppings that are on the pizza along with the pineapple, they have to like, uh, they have to mesh well, you know? So I think it, it, there's more to the question than does pineapple belong on pizza, it's uh, what toppings does it belong with and which ones does it not belong with? Welcome back, Ben. Not bad, RPG. Rose words of wisdom. Oh, yes. Indeed. Nice, Ben. I've actually got one myself. It's been pretty good, Ben. I've had a decent day just been grinding some red deer and then, um, catching up on some videos. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. <laughs> are cinnamon brown bears rare? No, they are not. I believe they're either a common or an uncommon. One of those. But I don't remember which. Been a bit since we've gone to this. Like, I should probably check to see if we've had any just randomly end up there. Nice, Josh, I appreciate that, and I'm glad that uh glad that the videos have been able to help you. Also, guys, there is a chance we might be doing a stream later with uh Kill Clinton, but I'm not hundred percent sure because he's not sure if he'll be able to. But uh provided he's able to, we'll try to get another stream in today. Most likely on uh, Phasmophobia again, because that was a that was a fun time last night. Hey, Bubbles, how's it going? Okay, don't see anything there. That's a good sign. I've noticed recently I'm not getting as many of them, like, venturing off into zones I don't normally hunt. Most of them are actually staying at the lakes I want them to stay at, which is nice. Love to see it. Like, I haven't had one end up here in a while. Yeah. Still, uh, no randoms getting over there, which is good. Uh, 
Couple decent ones there. You still don't have a 270s, Johnny? That's crazy. That That's kind of wild to me. With as many as you've hunted, like... I would have thought you would have got one by now. Do you know why Way of the Hunter is not on Xbox One? I would guess because the game is too intensive on systems for it to be able to run properly on a console like that. Way of the Hunter barely runs well on the Series S and X. I doubt it could even half run on an Xbox One. Alright, let's uh, main menu. I imagine they wanted to just put all of their money and resources into consoles that could actually uh, handle the game well because the Xbox one just would not be able to keep up with uh, how system intensive way of the hunter is I mean the Xbox one has lag issues with the hunter call of the wilds maps did you imagine trying to run way of the hunters maps that are twice the size on Xbox one I just don't think it would even be able to run Don't be moving my stag, man. That's just rude. Nice RPG, that's awesome. Hey, turkey. Ow. What a rude little hind. How long will the stream be? Pretty much the same as always, around two to three hours, depending on, uh, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, Local Hunter, I do. I haven't been able to recently. I did it mainly when I was growing up. But, uh, yes, I have hunted before. Just not in recent years. Due to, like, uh, financial reasons and time constraints and stuff like that. Okay, nothing smokable over there. And no zone here, so nothing will be smokable here either. Uh, not for everybody, Trey. That is, a uh, very person-specific. Because the thing about it is, like, um, different models of the consoles have slightly different specs. Even, like, newer models can be performing a little bit better than older models, so it probably depends on which one you have, right? Because I know for a fact they've made multiple variations of the PS5. I'm pretty sure they've made two or three of them at this point. And I imagine it's the same for the Series S and Series X. Because I heard a lot of complaints about the Series X not running away of the Hunter very well. Um, vitals what? No? Hello? There you go. See, now, was that hard? Was it that hard to go down? Really, Bubbles? That's wild. Tips for a diamond pronghorn? If I'm being honest, I don't have many tips for them at the moment since, uh... They just did the update, and I haven't really had a chance to check all of the new zones for them. I mean, as of now, really the only recommendation I can give, since I don't know much about the new places they are, is hunt around the feed zones in the morning. That seems to be the best way. And try multiplayer hopping as well. There's a lot of fresh maps that nobody's hunted right now, so... 
plenty of opportunities to find some diamonds on other people's maps in uh, multiplayer. The turkey great one. That'd be a sick great one. Give me like a the world's only piebald turkey that has uh, seven beards and eight spurs. And a tail the size of a... I don't know. The size of something. Not unplayable, just needs some tweaks. Yeah, I kind of figure that's probably how it was. Okay, this is where we started this run. We need true beers. We do, Johnny. We do. Make the turkeys have more variety, please. Speaking of turkeys, eventually we're going to have to kick up a grind for a melanistic eastern turkey because I still don't have one of them and I still badly want to have one of them. Great one, Ben, would be cool. <laughs> yes, definitely. The the great one, Ben. What is the best map for the Red Deer grind? Definitely Tiawaroa. If I'm being honest, I wouldn't recommend any other map for it because Tiawaroa is just that good. There truly is no competitors for Tiawaroa when it comes to a Red Deer grind. The red deer are just so plentiful and in such like accessible locations that it's it's almost too good. But in the best way possible. Just shot a diamond feral goat with a 243 handgun. Nice, Leo. That's awesome, dude. I like that handgun a lot. That thing is fun. Super, super fun to use. Yeah, Johnny, that's understandable. How was that first shot not good? I don't get it. I mean, it'll go down. Slowly. Uh, same time as always, Joey. Two to three hours. Okay, no shootable stags there. Definitely, Johnny. We need a lot of stuff for Whitetail, to be honest. We just need an, an entire rework of every Whitetail in the game, except the Great Ones. The Great Ones are the only Whitetail that look natural. I think it's just you, Aaron. It seems like it's pretty smooth on my end. Maybe try watching at a lower quality. You might have to lower the quality to watch. If you're uh, still running into issues. Uh, what do you mean, turkey? Yeah, we already hunted that zone.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and restart the game. Sometimes a restart gets everything back to their zones better than uh, just a main menu can. So we're going to try that. Uh, no, Dominic, they don't. Uh, no, that can't happen a turkey. Once you get to the point that I'm at, they can't spawn as fours anymore. That's the whole purpose of doing this with herd management is you load your map with so many fours and below that eventually the map can't spawn anything that small anymore. And so it only spawns big ones out of the remaining like 20 or so that you're shooting. So yeah, that's that's kind of the point of herd management is to get it to where you're not getting small respawns anymore and they're all big. And that's what we get right now. Sure, I'm only shooting like maybe 10 to 15 red deer per run, but all of them are at least a level 5 and most of them are level 7s and 8s and 9s. If a great one is on your map this run, will you shoot it with a 243 handgun? I'm shooting it with the Glock. Next great one's gonna get glocked. You probably have more faded, but uh, they've most likely hidden in areas that you don't check often. Because I don't think it's possible to get it down to 10. Uh, from all of my experience grinding and also just talking to people like I buy, I think 20 or around 20 is the lowest it can really go for shootable stags. So you should still have some more that maybe you're missing. And another thing to take into account also is that some of them you might not actually see get back to their zones for a few hours of playtime. Like the ones that I shot last run, they're most likely still moving down to their zones and they probably won't actually be into their zones where I can shoot them until a run or two from now. All right, let's get... That guy in the back if we can. Nice. And uh, for those that don't know, we're leaving this guy till the end of the stream. Gonna see if we can get any other rares to spawn while we're uh, grinding. Wait, with, uh, with what, Johnny? Did I miss something? Oh, yeah, mountain goats. Yeah, I don't understand what they were doing with mountain goats. That seems really strange to me as well. Uh, not really, Dominic. Just the ones that you have red deer at. Do you need a tent and stand at every lake? Wait, I already read that. Casually shoots a nine. I did? When? Well, I know I shot this one, but did I shoot any others? I don't think so. 26191. What's well, interesting, Frag? I know, right, Johnny? A 261 max weight is wild. That is, like, super low scoring. I think the, the lowest I ever saw max weight was, like, 259. Okay, yeah, that one was a mythical. I was going to say, I don't think I accidentally shot a 9 without knowing it. All right, let's write that guy down into the diamond count, though.
That was our 630th Diamond Red Deer. I think we've killed a few of them. Alright, Death Reaper. No worries, dude. I don't know, Johnny, but it needs something. Because it, uh, it has some issues with those Cape Buffalo. I tell ya. Alright, turkey. Later, dude. What's Red Deer top score? Uh, there is no such thing as a top score for a true Rax animal. But the biggest one I've ever killed was 27109. 271.09 was the best I ever killed. But technically, because they have a randomized uh, antler system, with, uh, with that being true Rax, there's always a chance that somebody could get one that's a little bit bigger. And I feel I think somebody has got a 272 once. I've heard of at least one 272 scoring red deer. It's just obviously the higher the score gets, the less it will happen. But yeah, in general, there's no such thing as a true max score. Or at least no known max scores for Truax. I'm sure Truax probably has a limit at some point, but uh, there's no way to know what those limits would be. Just like a lot of people thought that Whitetail had a max score of 275.5, but then somebody killed a 276, so... I imagine it'll be the same with Red Deer. Someday, somebody's just gonna get a super wonky one that scores like 274 or 275. And uh, I honestly can't wait for that day, because that's gonna be insane. Maybe we'll even be the ones that do it, with the amount of Red Deer Diamonds that we get. Maybe we'll be the person that ends up getting a 274 or a 273. It was quite a while ago, uh, Zyphon. It was, I think, like, a month after they reduced the score requirements for Whitetail. Uh, what do you mean, Frag? What do you mean new penetration for 30 out 6? Did they, did they actually change it? Because I haven't seen any news of that anywhere. That's a 5. He needs to go down. Is Revon Thule good for whitetail grinding? It's decent. Uh, it's not the number one map for sure, though. Just because they're so spread out. I'd say best map for grinding whitetail is Rancho still, but Revon Thule is a close second. Mississippi could be good if they weren't spread out so much. And uh, Layton is better than it used to be, but I can't really speak on Layton too much because I haven't, uh, have not hunted whitetail at all on Layton since they changed them around. There's a level 9. That's a big one too. Got you Johnny, okay. So they didn't actually change the stats of it, they just changed what it says to more accurately reflect the performance. That makes sense. Come on out, buddy. Good enough. Maybe? No, we might have hit too far forward or too high. How far was that? I know it's a little over 300. 
Oh, it's not. I, uh... Okay, then. It's not over 300. I was gauging it off of the shots that I take over here from that spot. And usually it's just over 300. That was not over 300 there. Whoops. Oh, well. It is what it is. He'll be back. Or dead. Either way, it's whatever. Thank you, AB. I appreciate that, dude. I try my best. Uh, yeah, it's definitely worth it, Andre. The thing about great ones is, like, uh, the amount of kills that you have on a map isn't going to change your chances of getting a great one. You could get a great one from any deer that you shoot. Any buck that you take down has a chance of respawning as a great one. So, being, like, a few hundred kills into a grind, it's not going to change your chances of getting a great one to spawn. And the only thing that it will really change is, like, obviously you'll have to re-find your zones. And so, that's going to take some time to get all of your tents and stuff set up. But, other than that, it's not going to affect your chances of a great one. So, you can really switch at any time. Unless you're doing herd management, then it will affect some things. But, that that's more affecting the diamonds than anything. I don't know if that guy died. We'll see. Gotcha, Johnny. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of strange that they don't show the, how powerful the 303 is. Because it definitely is more powerful than both of them. Died before I even got the other shot off. Yeah, it's not for everybody, Dolphin. I love the leaves in the antler, so for me, the Great One Red Deer is probably my favorite of all the Great Ones. But it's definitely not for everybody. But that really goes for anything. Everybody's got their preferences. Can you ruin a great one? Yes, you can. If you do not hit the vitals, then it will ruin the great one and it'll show up as a gold instead. Wow. Stutter stepping, I see. That is the worst thing. Whenever you're shooting at a running animal is when they're running very steadily and they just stop for a second. I remember there used to be a time in Call of the Wild where that wasn't a thing. And then all of a sudden, one update, they started doing that. What's the difference, what's the difference between a rare diamond and trolls? Um, a troll is a max level animal that, uh doesn't make diamonds so if you get like a max level animal that scores gold that's a troll and so I guess a rare troll would be like a rare let's let's use red deer for an example a rare level 9 red deer that only scored gold that would be a uh, a rare troll Technically, yes, Dominic, but the chances of it are so minuscule that it's only happened, like, twice ever. But according to the developers themselves, any animal that is any animal that is one level below max has a chance at making diamond. But on some species, it's so rare that it's never happened. Which is honestly crazy to think about, that there's just some... That have never even been shot. Jeez, Johnny, yeah, that's wild. Uh, yeah, that's normal, Dylan. That's where you want it to be. You want there to only be about 20 shootable stags. Because that means that those 20 will be good quality stags. They'll always come back as at least a 5, and most of the time they'll be a 7, an 8, or a 9. That's, uh, that's what you want to see. Oh, 
Oh, I bet it did, Johnny. Yeah, it sounds rough. Uh, we need to go check for that one that we botched. See if it's still alive or not. Nope. I don't see it and I have no idea where it is. So if it's gone, then it's gone. Yeah, I think so too, Aaron. But apparently, from what they've said, um, a great one is an elevated version of a diamond. So, my theory is that whenever a diamond spawns, there's like a chance that it spawns as a great one instead. Yeah, that nine definitely died. Oh, well. We'll add it to the diamond count because it definitely would have been a diamond. How many stags we killed this stream? Probably like 40, maybe. If I were to take a little guesstimate there. Uh, probably sea eagle. It really depends on what the animal looks like. There's always a chance that it could score or that it could die before it makes five star. It's you really have to base it off of the way the animal looks like if it looks old then it might not make it but if it looks like it's not reached its prime then it could grow a little bit more. You kind of have to just get good at looking at the fur and the antlers and seeing, uh, like, how worn down it looks. There's really no way I can even guess if it's going to make it without seeing the actual animal itself. Because of the way they have uh, things set up in Way of the Hunter. Uh, let's check a couple more zones before we change the time. Uh, by how, like, I guess... Well, it's different from species to species, like, some species get darker, others get, like, more gray. So it really depends on the species, but their fur will, like, it'll look visibly worn and old. If it's an older animal. Hey, monkey butt, how's it going, dude? Hey, Carolina, this is Tiawaroa. Good old Tiawaroa. I've been doing pretty good, man. Been having a uh, fun time grinding red deer today. Feels good to get back out and hunt some red deer since we've took a little break from them recently. Well, one of them died. I don't know about that first one, though. Looks like it wasn't a great hit. Uh, Blacktail max level is level 5. Okay, they both died pretty quickly, actually. You're at 80 level 9s and rares in one month? That's nice, dude. That is really nice. I've been playing Call of the Wild ever since the first pre-release beta back in December of 2016, uh, Joey. But I did take like a one and a half year break before they added Truax and then when they added Truax to the game that brought me back to it. And then I've been playing it uh, steadily ever since. Just a random three over there? Okay.
Okay, nothing there. Red Deer and a Scarecrow Scout. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind of. Nice, Eagle. All right, let's change the time. Then what we're going to do is main menu. And then after we main menu, we're going to restart the game. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for, Andre. If you're looking for, like, diamonds and super rares on your grind, then herd management is great. Um... But if you're just looking for a great one, then you're probably better off just shooting everything. Really, the only purpose of herd management is to get more diamonds for higher chances at super rares. Because when you do herd management, you get a lot more max level animals to spawn. And so naturally, there's a higher chance that any rares will be a super rare. But if you're just looking for a great one, herd management doesn't affect how many great ones you'll get. So... If you're only looking for great ones, I would just shoot all of the deer. Hey, Bo, how's it going? Best way to level up, just shoot every animal and do missions. If you're still trying to level up, just shoot lots of animals and do the missions. Because that will give you a decent bit of XP. Lions are some of the best XP in the game, but obviously there's not a lot of them. So I don't know how, how good of an XP grinding method that would be. But uh, I believe lions do give the most XP in the game. Yeah, the red deer are still moving into their zones. I don't know, Johnny. I mean, to be fair, I did start earlier than normal. To be fair, I did start the stream a bit earlier than I normally do, so... That could partially be it. And also, Smash was in here earlier, but said that uh, he was going fishing. Oh, that's right. I didn't, Caitlin. That's uh, that's probably probably why I forgot to say that I was live. Guess I probably should have done that. But how's it going, Caitlin? Hopefully, you're doing good. Started herd management last week and managed to bag some great fabled red deer already. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. Nice, Leo. Uh, yeah, great ones are level 10. They are indeed level 10. Level 10 fabled. Couple fours. Gotta check these lakes every once in a while because I always get a few that just kind of wander off. Gotta make sure we're being thorough. I was doing herd management for a while and stopped because I just want the great one. And a lot of diamonds started showing up once I shot everything. Yeah, it happens. Um, one thing that you will notice is whenever you have been doing herd management and then you stop doing it, you will get probably quite a bit of diamonds to spawn when you shoot everything. Because until you've like shot off all of those uh, level fours, the game is technically still trying to make up for 
the lack of larger trophies on the map. So yeah, killing everything, you will get a decent bit of diamonds to spawn off of that if you've been going from herd management back to just shooting everything. But uh, it's a lot harder to get those small ones back once you stop. So definitely not worth doing it as a grinding style. But yeah, if you're just switching off and you go to something else, you'll definitely notice a bunch of diamonds popping up. At least for the first run or two after. We should probably check down here as there is a couple zones that they occasionally end up in. And since we're seeing less and less of them, I got a feeling that we probably have a few in those zones. There's probably a few red deer in these zones that are weird. Oh, and also guys, I don't know how it happened. We've got a random piebald and I don't remember ever shooting a female recently. Unless it was one of the mistaken one. It could have been one of the accidental hind kills when it jumped in front of a stag, but just randomly we've got a piebald now out of nowhere so that's that's interesting I guess she gets to hang out yeah Bo <laughs> oh no log that's not good gosh I'm glad that didn't happen to any of mine that would be terrible I knew it I knew there would be at least one down here I'll bet you there's going to be a zone on this corner as well because they can be there also and I have had one just randomly show up there. Happened to me, never shot in any hinds and somehow got an albino and a piebald hind at the same lake. Yeah, it's weird, Yeast. I mean, I know for a fact that I've accidentally shot a couple hinds when I was trying to shoot stags. But, like, it doesn't happen super often, so I didn't expect to just randomly get a rare one. Hey, Skull, how's it going? Thank you, Carolina. I really appreciate that, dude. Alright, little level 7. Let's, uh, let's catch our breath. Oh no, Log. That's that's a crazy trophy, man. A 268 Big Rack Mella. Gosh, I would love to get that. Why not shoot the piebald? Eh. I don't really have a need for it since it's a female. We'll shoot it whenever we get our next great one, most likely. I don't know Johnny I don't most likely we will tax that uh, piebald 7 but I'm probably not going to even put it anywhere because I don't have the room like I don't think you guys understand fully to the like the extent of how full my trophy manager is right now I don't have enough lodges to put even like 70% of all the trophies that I've taxed. There's tons of them that just always sit in my inventory because I don't have room to put them anywhere. Which is why I don't tax diamonds anymore and I only tax the uh, rares. Fallow deer just randomly over here. Okay. Hey, little buddy. Okay, we're getting close. Uh, this is approximately where a red deer zone can be. So we're going to see if we've randomly got a couple here. I mean, obviously, Crayfish, I tax anything that's 270 or bigger. Right now, 270 plus is the only diamonds I'll tax. And then ones that are just very abnormally wonky or score absurdly low or high for their rack. Those are the only ones that I tax at the moment. And then I tax all of the rares, and I also tax, of course, any great one that we get. And gosh, we gotta be close to a great one. I mean, we're over 4,300 kills into this particular grind. 
We have to be close to one. Would not be surprised if we end up getting one within the next thousand kills or so. Our last one took 6,000. Hopefully this one will come before then. Okay, it's safe to say no red deer here. Thankfully. Okay, that is good to know. Very awesome to know. Can I click this? There we go. Uh, not sure, King. Did you possibly get too much hunting pressure over top of them? Or were they possibly single stag zones? If they're single stag zones, they will move constantly. There's no way to keep a single stag zone. Hopefully, Bo. Hey, Jelly, how's it going? There's a diamond. Why can't you be a melanistic? What is this? Oh, I'm doing that MS sound. That's just me spamming right click. I've been, um... Watching a decent bit of, like, I buy premiums. Great one bear grinding when he was stacking the bears. And he does that all the time, and so I just picked up the habit from watching him. I think it's just because it gives me something to do while I'm walking. It's almost like a, a form of fidgeting, you know, like... I have a problem where, like, I have to always be doing something. And so for me, it's just something to do while I'm walking. Where did he go? There it is. Yeah, it's just like something to do. I was always the same way in games like um, Counter-Strike. Like I would always be flipping my knife back and forth just to, to have something to do. 262? Kind of low scoring for Big Rack, but you know. At least it's a uh, decent sized one. How many diamonds have we killed this stream? What does the title say, guys? I can't actually see the title right now. What does the title say we started with? There's another one. Beautiful. Love to see it. Starting to get some diamonds going. 628. Okay, so we've killed four diamonds. This will be number five. Nice, Ben. That sounds good, dude. Man, you're making me want chicken. I've got some uh, some chicken nuggets, so I might have to bake those after the stream. I might have to go get some chicken nuggets. You're making me want them. 265. That's a better one. Moving up in the world a little bit. Now, can we just break 270 today? 270 would be amazing if we could get another one. Dude, if we could get a 273, that'd be insane. Nice, Dana. Hey, Ellie, how's it going? Hey, Trick Shots. How is everybody doing? Welcome to everybody that's just joining in. There's a level six right there. We can get that one real quick. Gonna have to zero for 300 because that hind is in the way. Don't want it to drop down and hit her. No zone here, so we probably won't get any red deer on this side. Nice, MS Sound. Yeah, it seems like it's a chicken kind of day for sure. I had a uh, green bean casserole for lunch. My gosh, it was good. No organs hit. What? Huh? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the spine, maybe? Uh, the spine would say non-vital, though, right? Hey, Sam, how's it going? Yeah, it must have been spine, then. That was weird. I thought spine would be non-vital organ, but I guess that is no organs now that I think of it. I don't know why I thought it was the other way. Alright, let's main menu. It's flesh if it doesn't hit the spinal cord. Okay, yeah, that's that's where I confuse it. Good old screw. <laughs> About to get some Ben and Jerry's out. Nice, Carolina. Sounds good. I bet, Arrow. I bet. Adult Happy Meal? Isn't that just a meal, though? <laughs> there we go. We're starting to get more level 9s popping up. Getting a lot of them popping up now. Gosh, with as many 9s as we've seen today, if we get a rare to spawn, there's a high chance it could be a 9. Love to see it, man. How is that not vitals? What? 308 failing me. Did I aim too low? I don't think so. No, that should have been fine. Did we go in between? I bet we went in between the lungs again. I bet we went right in between both lungs. Yeah, they really do, Johnny. They do need to fix that. Come on, big guy. Better, I think? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. For a second, I thought maybe we, like, hit too far back and got intestines, but I think we actually are good. Man, you're just walking into the shots at this point. What's that handgun called? This is the 22 pistol. Uh, which weapon pack is this from, guys? I think it's weapon pack 3, right? I think it's a weapon pack 3 gun. Oh, yay. Floater. Amazing. Love the floaters. Oh, it does, Ben. That's amazing. I didn't know that was even a thing. You can get a Big Mac or a 10-piece chicken nugget. Dude, I didn't know an adult Happy Meal was even a thing. That sounds incredible. I need to get me one of those. 268. Ah, oh, that's a big one. And yeah, we did it between the lungs or... Oh, actually, it didn't go between the lungs. We just didn't quite get there. We just didn't reach the lung. Wow. Second one, though, was much better. But yeah, that's crazy. 308 pen nerfed? I don't know. I think it's just because we hit high on the neck, so it had more flesh to go through. Crazy. Oh, nice guy. Yeah, I need to check him out. I haven't had it before. You know, I haven't ate at a fast food place in a long time. It's been at least a month and a half, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's been at least a month and a half since I ate anywhere fast food. So I, I think I can afford to go get me an adult Happy Meal. That sounds good. Yeah, I use the 308 just for the fire rate, Parker. Now that it doesn't have that accuracy issue anymore, 
I've just been using it for the fire rate because it's its power is relatively in line with the other rifles in its class. But uh, that fire rate is what does it for me. Love the quick follow-up shots. And the lack of recoil. Like, it's so flat shooting. So recoilless. Love it. Definitely not the most powerful in its class. The 303 is definitely where that is, but... I like it. Yeah, it's pretty wild, Ben. Hey, Randy. 254, so this is a small rack. Uh, let's write those down, so that's two more diamonds on the day. Wow, we've killed seven diamonds today, and we've only been streaming an hour. That's really good. Also, let's see. How many have we killed since our last time that I updated it? Probably 20. Yeah, I'd say we killed another 20. Oh, nice, Sam. Oh, the 303 is still great, Parker. The 303 is amazing. I just like the fast follow-up shot and low recoil of the 308. And the fact that it's a 308, because that's one of my favorite calibers ever. What was the lake with the two diamonds? It wasn't a lake, actually. It's the river right here. Near Order. Yeah, that place. Is that another one? Yeah, that's a six over there. Even the 300 missing some vitals today. What are you? Oh, where'd you come from, sir? <laughs> Where did that guy come from? Just out of nowhere, a seven shows up there. Nice, Gonzalo. I've been only leaving the twos for my rocky grind. It's been uh, working pretty good so far. You know, I've seen a surprising amount of level fives on the rocky grind. I'm pretty excited to uh, to put up my next elk grinding video. There is uh, some pretty insane trophies that I got. A couple really wild initial spawn trophies and then a few really crazy uh, respawns as well. Getting the best of both worlds with the elk grind. It's been going pretty smooth. Now we should have one more to claim. Uh, my streaming schedule is I stream every day except Wednesday and Saturday, Frag. And I, I try to start around 3 p.m. PST, but it does kind of vary depending on the day. Uh, sometimes I'll start like an hour early. Others I might start uh, an hour late. But uh, I usually stream around 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on every day except Wednesday and Saturday. And then we very often do uh, a second stream in the day as well. And the second streams usually start around 5. 5 or 6. Or not 5. 6 or 7, I mean. There's that 7. Our beautiful piebald. Okay, only two to take down this time. Ah, oh, gosh, you guys keep mentioning good food and stuff, and now, now I want a blizzard, Johnny. Why? Why? <laughs> Y'all are gonna have me just like go into every restaurant just to get like specific things each of them has. <laughs> just gonna stop at like five restaurants buying one item from each of them. It's like, well, uh, Dairy Queen's got the best fries, so I'm going to go to Dairy Queen to get the fries. But, you know, uh, I'll get the Blizzard, too, and then, I mean, I, I kind of want a burger, so let's head over to Five Guys. But I, I want a kid's meal, too, so let's let's go to, let's get an adult kid's meal at McDonald's. 
Next thing you know, I've got enough food for like three meals. Blame Ben. Always blame Ben. I mean, I thought that was just the default. Hey, Kyler, how's it going? Uh, no, I have not tried the, uh, the Mexican pizza at all. That sounds good, though. I really don't go to Taco Bell too often, to be honest. Like, uh, not really the biggest Taco Bell fan. I'd rather just make tacos at home. I prefer homemade tacos over anything. Nothing, huh? Okay, okay. I see they are absent this run. What about Domino's? I'm not a big Domino's fan, to be honest. I've ate it a few times, and to me, it just tastes like very mediocre, basic pizza. Now, I'm pretty sure this is just a West Coast uh, pizza chain, but... Domino's is the best pizza that I've ever had around here. Domino's pizza is great. Or, er, not Domino's. Figaro's. What am I saying? Figaro's pizza. <laughs> did I say Domino's the first time, too? I bet I did. Figaro's pizza is the best pizza I've had. From, like, a, a more established, like, pizza chain. Like, not just a local place, but, like, an actual pizza chain. I like, uh, I like Figaro's quite a lot. <sighs> Figaro's makes some really good pizza. It's also a little more expensive than other places, but, you know, got to pay a little extra for quality, right? It's the same with Pizza Hut. Like, I feel like Domino's and Pizza Hut are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much on even playing fields. Like, they're, it's edible pizza, but it's not what I would choose. Oh, true, Johnny. I forgot that they do, like, a deals on specific days. Where can I get mountain goats and SRP? Uh, they feed on the left side of the map now. Typically higher up in the mountains, but you can get them down by the water as well. Along a few of the lakes. Yeah, I've heard of Mod Pizza. I've heard that it is very, very good. But I've never actually had it. Looked like a 9. Yeah, some of these 8s look pretty big. 221. Definitely a large 8. Yeah, typically A and B. That is true. A lot of times local places are better. Which is why I'm like, uh, I'm excluding local places from the like comparison because in most cases local pizza will be better and it's typically a little more expensive as well because there's more quality in it. But yeah, when it comes to like the more well-known chains, I definitely like Figaro's the best. Their pizza is so good. Love it. Double level nine. Okay, no zone here once again. The only shootable stags at this lake were those two level nines. Dude, today is a good day. Like, we're getting very consistent level nines. And typically, I get a level nine every 20 kills. But today, it's been more like every seven or eight kills we've been getting a nine. This is really what good herd management can do for you. Like, we're at a point where out of our 16,000 red deer kills, I believe about 10,000 of those have been herd management kills. And we're getting to a point now where we've got less than 20 shootable stags, but they so commonly give you nines. Like, just so many nines that it's absurd. 
And this is why I don't ever shoot any of the, the fours and below because even though I have less to shoot, the quality of the ones that I do have is ridiculous. And since I'm going for super rares, this is the best way to do it. Uh, no, Dana, there is no cross-platform for Call of the Wild. 264, that's a good one. Alright, let's add those. Guys, that is our ninth diamond of the stream. Nine diamonds in an hour and 20 minutes. That is probably one of the best I've had. That is, that is quite a few. We're doing very well today. Like, typically in a two-hour stream, we would kill, like, four to five diamonds. Maybe, like, seven or eight if we're lucky throughout the entire two to three hours. But we've had nine of them in an hour and 20 minutes. That's crazy. Wouldn't be surprised if we hit, like, 14 or 15 today. Come on, man. Oh, my. Holy, that guy's wide. Oh, gosh. <coughs> wow. Okay. I think it's small rack, though. Not gonna lie. That looks like a very wide small rack. Look at the look at the mass on the, the antlers. That's not very, very mass heavy from what I can tell. Maybe I'm wrong, actually. Hold on. Maybe it's just because he's farther away. Let's get a little closer. That's huge. It's so wide, but I can't tell if it's small or big rack. If this is big rack, this will be a 270 probably. If it's small rack, it'll be like probably 259 or 260. But it'll still be very high scoring regardless. Very uh, high scoring for its rack type. Get an accurate distance, 250. Let's say uh, 0 for 300, aim bottom of lung and we should be okay. He's down. That, that guy's not, though. That is a giant, guys. I can't wait to see what he scores. That very well could be one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Hey, Calvin. Uh, we're using a special grinding method called herd management where basically we don't ever shoot a level four or below. We leave every level four and below stack. Oh, that is big rack. Oh my gosh, this could be my biggest one ever. This might be my biggest red deer that I've ever killed. That's crazy. This might be my biggest ever. Is this the first ever two... 72 that we've ever killed my current my current record is 271.09 and we break that record here oh my gosh he's huge 269 really that's only a 269 are you kidding me huh he looks huge though how is that a 269? Wow, that seemed way bigger. I mean, I'm going to tax him just because he looks unique compared to a lot of the other 269s I find. It's almost like his rack is a little more like slicked back. Like it's more flat with the, uh, the back of the deer. Maybe that's why it looked bigger than it is. I mean, either way, that's a good one. That's still crazy. Well, and I gotta check to see if that replay saved. I've never tried saving a replay with, uh... Streamlabs, or not Streamlabs, but regular OBS. It looks like it worked. Like, on Streamlabs OBS, it gives me an indicator when my replay is saving. It doesn't on regular OBS. 
But yeah, that's 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 a monster stag. I really wish it had scored over 270 though. It looked like it should have been a 270 plus. What do we have over here? Uh, just one smokable stag. Uh, no sea eagle, I haven't. Uh, but anyway, let's let's get back to the conversation. Um, yeah, the reason that we see so many giant stags, uh, Calvin, is because we use a, a grinding method called herd management, where basically what you're doing is anytime I see a level three or a four or a two, I don't shoot it. No matter how many get on my map, we're to the point where I have over a hundred level four and below red deer on my map and what that does is having so many low scoring stags like this causes the other like 20 to 40 stags to only be giants and so the majority of stags that i get from for my respawns now pretty much always come back as at least a level five and most of the ones that do come back end up being like a seven or an eight or a nine to the point where we get a level nine every 10 to 20 kills now Is this map Quattro or Hirschfelden? Uh, this would be Tiawaroa. Uh, there's another one. Yeah, it's crazy, Calvin. I would probably recommend checking out my herd management guide. Uh, could one of the mods bring it up in the chat? Because uh, it's... It, it's a little bit more to it than what I can explain live, because... Um, there's definitely a lot of uh, tips that help out quite a lot with the grind. So I would definitely recommend checking out the herd management guide. It'll help quite a bit with uh, just relieving some of the headaches of trying to learn it as you go. What level should you leave for Whitetail? Uh, from what I understand, you only leave level 1s. From what I've been told, you only leave the level 1s for Whitetail herd management. And from what I've seen with Rocky Elk, it's only level 2s. That seems to be the best way to do that. Yeah, no problem, Calvin. Hopefully you have some good luck with it. I've had quite a few people tell me that they have had really good success doing it as well. It's one of those things where even just doing it a little bit, like even if you don't have as many fours and below as I do, even if you get to the point where you have like 60 or 70 level fours, you'll still see more diamonds than before. You may not see like one every 20 kills, but you might get it to a point where you're getting a diamond like every 50 kills instead of like every one to 200 like it normally would be without herd management. You'll definitely see some results. That is awesome, Yeast. I badly want an even-looking Melanistic. I don't think I've ever killed a Mela that's even. Pretty sure all of mine have been wonky little dudes. Um, that's really lucky, Colby. I, I don't know, um... I don't know how many, like, kills you... Th think you're supposed to get for a great one, but 500 is very lucky. My last grind took me 6,000 to get my great one, and currently we've killed 4,400 without getting a great one. 500 is super lucky. That is like, I would kill to get 500 kills for a great one. That is so good. That is like insane levels of luckiness. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by as always. Nice little seven there. There's that piebald we've been waiting to kill. Didn't KC get like 500 and a great one spawned? I believe so, yeah. I've had a couple short grinds as well, but... Most of them have took a long time. 
I've had the two initial spawn, Whitetail, and pretty much everything else took at least two to three thousand or more. Because I had the initial spawn, Whitetail, on Layton, and then I had the initial spawn on Rancho. But uh, the rest of my great ones have took a long time. My first Whitetail took around four thousand to get, like thirty-seven hundred, I believe. Um, another one took twenty-five hundred. My red deer took three thousand, uh, three thousand. 6,000 and now we're currently at 4,400 on this grind. I had a lot of luck with the whitetail, but not so much with the red deer. They have took a long, long time. Did we already claim the one over here? I think we did actually. All right, let's main menu. It's almost at the end of their drink time. We might be able to get one run in. Yeah, I did have two initials. I did. How many Great One Red Deer do I have already? Three currently. Three Great One Red Deer in 16k kills. Which is a lot. Quite a few. <laughs> Welcome back, Sam. A few nice looking stags here. Oh, that's not too bad, Mason. You'll definitely get that great one eventually. Just keep that grind going. It seems like you got decent uh, stats on other trophies. 10 rares and 2,500 is actually pretty good. Rares are not easy to get. Uh, no, I've actually got all of them, uh, Caitlin. I've got one of each rack for the red deer. Um, I got the big rack first, then I got the small rack, and then last one was the mid rack. How many kills did it take me to get my first diamond? Like, uh, for Red Deer? I don't know. Are you talking about since the Great One was released, or just in general? Uh, yeah, I do have the matching Whitetails. My first two Great One Whitetail had the same rack. I think the there was like a 10 point difference though, because one was really wide. Oh, just first diamond in general? I was level 51 when I got my first diamond. It actually took me a very long time. And floater, not gonna waste time with him. Uh, Tiawaro is by far the best map, Tropical, for Red Deer. Um, if, um, if Red Deer hunting on Tiawaro is a 10, then every else Every other map is a five or below. Diablo is just that far ahead of the pack. It's mainly because the red deer are in such small condensed areas that you can find so many of them so fast. And they're in very easy to access locations. There's not a lot of trees around most of their zones. They're just very easy and pleasant to hunt. And unfortunately, Quattro used to be the best red deer map, but and at least for a lot of people, I always thought the Tiawaro was the best one for Red Deer, but a lot of people liked Quattro more back when Tiawaro had a nighttime drink zone for the Red Deer, but now that they drink in the day, I think the majority of people can agree that Tiawaro is just so far ahead of any other map with Red Deer hunting. Like, there's no way that I could do herd management the way that I am on any of the other maps, because the, the deer are just so spread out and they move way more often. Like on Quattro Colinas, I would probably only be able to kill about 30 to 35 red deer per hour. With Tiaboroa, I can kill between 60 and 100 per hour, depending on like how consistent my respawns are being. 
For a while, I was getting close to 20 red deer every 10 minutes. Actually, he's just staying there. Beautiful. In my opinion, what would be a good what would be a good map in Call of the Wild? Like for future editions? And he's floating. No, you silly floating red deer. What are you doing, man? Floating along. Um, I'd like a Texas game ranch. Just to kind of switch it up and add a map where instead of only having animals from one region, you could have animals from all across the world. I'd love to have a map like that where you can see like African antelope species mixed with deer, mixed with like uh, cattle and things like that. Because there's different cattle species you can actually hunt. Like I'd just love to see a map like that that just has a massive mixture of species from across the world. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Let's hope it works. Uh, we're gonna fast travel out of render. Then we're gonna wait a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is fast travel back there. And our red deer should be on shore again. It should be back to the shore that it died on. Cool little trick to get the floaters back to shore if you're impatient. They do occasionally go invisible, but most of the time they will uh, just go back to the shore. So we shall real quickly check this zone. As usually I get a couple stags that just randomly end up here and we just heard one of them, so... We shall see. Hey HK, how's it going? Nice, Eagle. Yeah, don't feel bad if you don't have your first diamond yet. It took me a long time to get mine. Beautiful. We got two shootable stags here. Not that I really want them here, like of all places that they could be, but I'll gladly take a couple more down. Um, I don't think they'll be an Asian map. I think they've been kind of against doing a map there due to like some IRL hunting regulation reasons and stuff like that. But, uh, I could definitely see an Australian map being a thing. I feel like the next map is going to be either Australia or Africa 2.0, since those have been the highest requested maps for years. At this point, if they don't do them, then I don't know what they're doing. Thank you, Trenton. I appreciate that. Did we hit either of those vitally with the first shot? I actually think we messed up on both of them. Yeah, we did. We messed up on both of them. So the one isn't going to die anytime soon, but this guy died over here somewhere. Since we shot him like four times. Yeah, true, Johnny. True. Though the 243 and the Glock are pretty fun. And the 243 is very useful. Like, super useful, so... Maybe they knew that it would be like that. Next map should be in Detroit. <laughs> be an interesting map. Then it would just be uh, the hunter call of the streets. There is the second one. Yeah, we completely botched that shot. All right, let's uh, reset the time. Actually, we got to go get our diamond first. So I'll show you guys. It should be on that shore now. How do they mess up the mountain goats? Uh, they made them not have a drink time. And they put them on the left side of the map.
Watch this be the one time. This is the one time it didn't work, isn't it? This is the one time it didn't work, of course. Man, Scarecrow. Talk about a time to... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. That diamond's gone. Let's go reset the time. It is what it is, though. That was a small one, regardless. We will still add it to the diamond count, because it, it still technically would have been a diamond, but... Just won't get to claim it. They now got planes goats. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, yes, this is Tiawaroa, the New Zealand map, Josh. We're going to do a quick full game restart. Get all of our stags, hopefully, back to their zones, or... At least more consistently arriving at their zones on time. Oh no, Smash. <laughs> That's not good. You saw something on the other side of the lake? Oh, I didn't see it. Why do I focus only three lakes? Because it's the fastest grind right now. With the way my uh, zones are set up, it's the fastest. I can kill so many red deer so fast that way. You see, a lot of people think that having a lot of lakes means that you'll be killing more animals, but it's more of how many can you kill in a short amount of time. And if these three lakes, I'm able to kill, like, I timed myself once hunting just these three lakes. Provided I actually get my respawns, I can kill 20 stags every 10 minutes. When everything is working as planned. And that's with claiming all of them. If I'm like hunting all of the lakes that I have shootable stags at. There's no way that I'm going to get 20 stags in 10 minutes. I'll maybe get 10 in 10 minutes if I'm going between all of them. And so if you're looking for like a speedy grind. It just makes more sense to focus the top areas. And then what I'll do is if I start seeing not as many respawns happening at these lakes. I will go to some of the other lakes that I haven't been hunting and shoot some of the stags there. That way I get more back at my favorite three lakes. And it's been working out pretty insanely well. Alright, later, Bo. Wyoming might be cool? Yeah, that could be cool. Be more of like a, a wide open plains type map, yeah? I think it would be at least. I think Wyoming has a lot of like plains type of uh, terrain. I might be wrong there. So only two of them at the zones this time. What would be new species besides birds? I don't know. Uh, yeah, AB. Well, it's not a it's not a pistol round in general. It's 22. Uh, the 22 caliber rounds will do that. Except for the AR for some reason. The 22 AR, the pistol trick doesn't or not pistol. The 20. You got me saying pistol trick now. <laughs> but the uh. The 22 trick works with all 22s except for the 22 Hornet and the 22 AR. You basically, if you're 150 or farther away from the animal, you can shoot next to it to get it to go alert. That way it moves for you to take a better shot. It's a very good trick for getting the animal to go broadside if it's being stubborn. They should add doll sheep to Yukon. Definitely, Leo. That is something I've been wanting on Yukon for a while. I want to see Sitka black tail deer and doll sheep. Both added to Yukon. I just think that'd be so good. It'd be like Verhonga, but with pronghorn. You know, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. That'd be kind of cool. Big mythical. You see, I've always thought that, uh... What's it called? I've always thought that, gosh, what's the map? Rancho. I've always thought that Rancho should have pronghorn, but for some reason they didn't do it. 
Like, it blows my mind that a map based in Mexico doesn't have pronghorn. Same with, uh... Audad sheep. I really wish they had added the Audad. Feel like that was just a missed opportunity. But maybe in the future they'll add a new species to it. We've seen a few species get added to old maps before. Primarily like rabbits onto Leighton and ducks onto Leighton and then rabbits onto Hirschfelden. We saw the Gemsbach and the Lions get added to Verhonga post-release. So maybe one of these days we'll see some new additions to Rancho. There's our little piebald guy. Our little pie guy. Okay, that is nothing there. Typically after a time reset, it's a bit slower for a few runs. Oh man, David, that's rough. But hey, I mean, at least you're getting to go deep sea fish, and that's... That's definitely going to make up for the uh, lack of a great one showing up. Yeah, Leo, that would be cool. Nothing there. We might have to do a couple runs around the map. Might have to go check a couple of the zones that we haven't been to recently. Because, yeah, it looks like the respawns aren't showing up here. So let's go to a couple of the maps that they tend to... Or not maps. Let's go to a couple of the lakes they tend to end up at. It's hard to say, Death Reaper. I mean, for the longest time, I would have said, like, 100% no. But... Since they added the AR pack, I'm a little bit more inclined to say maybe instead. It used to be a definitive no, but I feel like now it's more of a maybe than it is a no. So it, I, it's possible. Would not be surprised if they didn't do it, but I could see it maybe happening now. And I just realized we are so close to being out of ammo for our 300. Time to uh, stock up. Yeah, I've been there too, David. I think my my last great one took six thousand kills. So I've had a couple very lengthy grinds too. It's uh, it is kind of grueling, but you'll get it eventually. Like if you keep going, it will eventually spawn. If you need to, you know, take a little break from it, hunt something else. I take breaks here and there. Definitely makes it more enjoyable when you when you take a little bit of a break. Because the last thing you want is to get yourself burnt out. Ah, it's a floater! If we get to the edge right here, maybe we can jump in after it. Although I don't think it's going to be close enough. Let's see. Nope, that's not going to work. Well, that guy gets to float along, I guess. There we go, there's a seven. I knew there'd be a couple up here. I knew we would see a couple up in this area. Hey, Caden, how's it going, dude? Nice, Carolina. Hope you have some good luck when you jump on. Hey, Walker. Welcome to the stream, dude. How do you have so much money? Uh, exactly what I'm doing now. Red deer grinding. Red deer grinding, white tail grinding. 
and just not spending my money on anything really really the only thing I buy is ammo because I don't really even tax the diamonds anymore for red deer so I end up building up quite a bit of cash and also 4,000 hours on the game probably contributes to that as well I just have a absurd amount of time put into this game And a good portion of that has been spent on grinds like this. Oh no, Eric, that's not good. That sucks, dude. Check this river spot real quick, see if there's a random stag that landed there. Nice YGB, that's crazy dude. Congrats. Nothing there, okay. Let's main menu one more time and then we'll get back to our normal three. Uh, what do you mean, Caden? I give advice all the time. If you're watching the streams, you'll hear tons of advice throughout it. Yeah, for real, Johnny. Definitely wasn't the greatest approach to it. In fact, I don't think they even mentioned it until right before. Because I know there was a lot of people that were very unclear. Even content creators weren't 100% sure. Like, everything happens so randomly and out of nowhere with this update. Finally, he's dead. Jeez. About time. Only kill level 5s and above HK. Leave all of the 4 and belows on the map. Can we... There we go. I mean, there really isn't too many tips for getting the great one, Caden. It's just, uh, if you're only looking for the great one, just shoot every male from that species. Really just comes down to getting used to your zones. Get used to your zones, get used to like, uh, what ways you can hunt them the fastest and most efficient. And then shoot all the males if you're just looking for great ones. Nice, Joshua, that's pretty lucky. Gosh, I take two seconds to take a drink of water and that happens. I'm just trying to stay hydrated over here and I'm getting ran over by hinds left and right. Uh, you talking about right now, Joey? We have not seen a great one today, no. But level, level 10s are a thing if that was your question, yes. The Great One is a level 10 animal. Not 100% sure like which question you were asking there, so... 
I just gave you answers for two of them. This lake recently has had way less shootable stags. I mean, there's two. Wait, where'd my stand go? How did I miss it? There it is. Okay. What do I think the next great one will be? I think it's going to be moose just based on the moose rework they did. They recently reworked the fur of moose. So I feel like that's a sign that it's going to be the next one. Because what did they do with black bear before it got a great one? They reworked all of the fur for the black bear in a couple updates before the great one black bear released. What is a hind? A hind is a female red deer. Female red deer are called hinds and the males are called stags. Yeah, like I don't I don't I don't necessarily want it to be moose over other stuff. Like in my personal opinion, I would prefer a mule deer, a black tailed deer, a rocky elk, or a Roosevelt elk before a moose, but I feel like it's going to be moose because that's largely one of the more popular uh requested great ones. More popularly requested, I should say. Definitely a lot more people that want moose than anything else, even though it's not my uh, number one choice. Uh, nothing there. Okay. I'm not sure, Cannon. I don't really have a favorite. It's the same with cats. I don't really have a favorite for either of them. It all depends on the individual uh, dog or cat's personality, you know? Hope the next great one's elk. I would love an elk, man. I would love a great one elk so much. Okay, we got one over here this time. Nice. We got the zone. Love to see it. Nice, Jake. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I feel you on that, man. I hope that whatever the next great one is, it's not a nighttime drink zone. That that would kill it for me. Definitely would not make it very enjoyable. Nice mythical. Uh, no, Hopi, they are not. I believe they're both uncommons. Cinnamon might actually even be a common for brown bear. I'm not sure. Later, Joshua. Thanks for watching, dude. You know what's crazy? We have not had a troll red deer in a long time. I think the last troll I had was like 200 kills ago. Most of our nines have been diamond, which is great to see. Nothing there. Okay. Nothing there. What's my favorite animal on SRP in New Zealand? Uh, For New Zealand, definitely the red deer. Uh, For SRP, I would say it's between... The Rocky Elk and the Pronghorn. I like both of them a lot. Just got myself, my biggest red stag, coming in at 270.57. That is a beast, man. That's a good one. Congrats on that giant. I was hoping today that we could break 270, but best we got was that 269. Which is still massive, don't get me wrong, but I was really hoping that we could break 270 today. Big mythical, wow. And that tiny little level 3. So adorable. What three lakes do I recommend for a great one grind? Um, hmm. 
I mean, that's not really a question that I can really answer because it's greatly going to depend on what type of grind you're doing. Like, for example, with the herd management grind for a great one red deer, I started with every single lake. I started my grind off by hunting every lake on the map. And then as lakes filled up with fours, that's how I made my decision on which ones I would make my permanent grinding lakes. I have some lakes that are only level fours and below now. And so I can just completely get them out of my rotation. Like this one never spawns anything bigger than a four. No matter what I do. Same with this one up here. So I've been able to completely eliminate those from my grind. And the like lakes that you end up with at the end are greatly going to be affected by how your grind goes from beginning to like a few thousand kills into the grind. It's really hard for me to recommend like a th like three lakes for you to grind because chances are if you only grind three lakes at the beginning, most likely those lakes are going to lose shootable stags very fast. So you kind of have to grind the entire map until you get a little bit further into it and know more of like which lakes are turning into fours and below. Uh, nothing here this time. Wow. Okay, we need to branch out to another lake then. Uh, yeah, Andrew, that's a good whitetail. Anything that's around the 270 or above mark is pretty good. So 269.25 is a good whitetail. Definitely wicked. I've been enjoying that grind quite a bit myself. Very fun grind. Is the 300 worth it? Oh, definitely. The 300 is so good. Ninety-one kills with three diamonds. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I haven't really been keeping track of my elk grind like a uh, kill count since there's no like great ones. I pretty much only keep track of kill count with great ones. But I, if I were to estimate, estimate, I would say I'm around two hundred kills into the elk grind, give or take a few. And I'm not going to say all that I've got because it hasn't got into videos yet, but I've had like six or seven good trophies now. The elk have been just like insane. They've been so good. Nice in the corner. Nice wicked. Hopefully you've been enjoying it. It seems like you have been. Later, Caden. Yeah, probably, Mason. Kind of hoping it'll be a Rocky. Not gonna lie. I would love it to be a Rocky Elk. That would make me so happy. But it probably won't because they're most likely going to keep it to starter maps. But, you know, maybe they'd go with like a Roosevelt Elk. Though, I guess once again, they did say they wanted to keep it to maps that are like... Or to species where like the species is on multiple maps, so... I don't know. At least for the first few great ones. Makes me wonder like when they'll start branching off of the uh, starter maps with great ones. Like I wonder how many great ones we need to have in the game for them to start branching out and doing like stuff like a rocky elk or a pronghorn or like a cape buffalo you know things that aren't on the base maps i wonder when they'll get to that point because there's so many cool species on other maps that deserve to have a great one Uh, I don't know, Cannon. Probably. I'd probably be disappointed if they did like a, a turkey great one. 
Mainly because turkeys only have feed zones, so... Or feed and resting zones, so it would be a pain, man. Uh, what do you mean, guy? What do you think the next great one is? I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be a moose. Just because they did the moose rework with the fur. They redid all the fur on the moose, so... I, fe I feel like it's gonna be a moose. They could add a great one fallow, true. I would not be opposed to that. I would be okay with a great one fallow. In fact, I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, no problem, Eric. I'm glad you're seeing some results, dude. Glad you're seeing results from it. What are my thoughts on a great one, bison or cape buffalo? Um, bison, I don't really know if I'd hunt one. If there was a great one bison, I probably wouldn't really grind for it super hard. But if it was a cape buffalo, my gosh, I would go crazy. I really want a uh, great one cape buffalo. I think that'd be so cool. The great buffalo. Maybe half-baked. That would be crazy if they did. I mean, that would be a pretty crazy way to, like, add an update. Like, uh, they haven't done a great one for a few months. They uh, haven't had a map for a few months, so they just come back with double great ones. That would be pretty crazy. Hey, bro, where, how's it going? Canada Goose is on the base map, plus others. You, you never know. Still want my aggressive Canada Goose great one? That'd be amazing. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. There we go. That's a big male. That's a big boy right there. Very tight rack. Wow. First great one was a white tail on Layton, then red deer on Hirsch, then black bear on Layton, so maybe on Hirsch? Hmm. That's a good point, guy. They might go, they might go that route. I didn't think of it like that before. That's a good point. Maybe fallow is the next one. Maybe it will be a fallow deer. I would be pretty happy with that, not gonna lie. I would definitely prefer a fallow over a moose. That was either a heart shot or a spine shot. I don't know which. That's our little pie guy. Love to see the double diamonds though. This caribou grind looks weird. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a great caribou grind. What do you mean? Uh, cause they're from different herds, uh, Sea Eagle. In Call of the Wild, uh, typically if they're from a different herd, they don't spook off unless you shoot right next to them. <laughs> yeah, bro, I know, right? Crazy. 266, that's a good one. We're getting a lot of mid to high 260s today. Let me just, uh, add that diamond to the diamond count. And let's go grab the other one. Um, it's it's up to you, Wicked. 
The thing about stacking is the primary purpose of stacking max level animals is to force more low levels to spawn. Oh, we did spine it. Oh, gosh. You guys can see why I thought it was hard, though. It, right above the heart. But, uh, spined it. I guess it was closer than I anticipated. I've really been under or overestimating the distance of this lake. Oh, well. Technically, that's a diamond, so we'll still mark it down as a diamond. Because it's still scored high enough to be a diamond. <laughs> a fox? Oh gosh, seven. I would probably never grind for it, but you know, I'm sure there's some people that would. Well, I think we got all of them. A raccoon, great one. Oh gosh. Gosh, I don't know how that would go. Raccoon, great one. Hmm. I don't know if that would be okay or terrible. Roe deer, great one. I wouldn't mind a roe deer, not gonna lie. Roe deer wouldn't be terrible. How did I hit her face? How? Explain? Explain to me how that happens. Okay, well that'll take him down. My gosh, Caitlin. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Terrible because you couldn't shoot it with birdshot multiple times. I know, right? I'm still mad they took that out. I'm still mad that we can't shoot raccoons with birdshot anymore. It was more realistic when they were class one. Holy, everybody's in here now. Mrs. Crow has entered the building. Everybody joining in. How's everybody doing? Three up there, okay. Hey Mason, hey Hunter. You've been here? I know you were joined earlier. I thought you left though and then came back. I thought you left like an hour ago and then came back. Hey JB, hey Nathaniel, hey JD. How's everybody doing? Yes, monkey butt, she is. I bet he is, Johnny. He's probably just elated. The the capital letters that he sent to me really said it all. <laughs> Wait, where did that one die? Oh, right there. How's it going, buddy? Red Deer, great one. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, man. We've killed a lot of Red Deer today. We're definitely making some crazy progress. How many great ones have I got? I've got three red deer and four white tail. Mm. 
Yeah, that's a method, uh, Nestea. That is a grinding method. I don't do that personally because I like having the uh, money as well. So I try to pick up all of my kills. Or at least the majority of them. The only time I really leave an animal and just don't pick it up is if I wound it and don't get vitals. Oh, more than months, uh, JD. I've been grinding great ones ever since they added the first great one, Whitetail, which was about two years ago. Now, I haven't spent the entire two years grinding great ones, but I've been doing great one grinds off and on ever since the first great one was released. There's our little, uh, little piebald that we will be taking out at the end of the stream. I was hoping we could get another rare to spawn before we took him out, but looks like it's not happening. Looks like there's at least two at this, at this zone though, so maybe great one, please. What defines a great one? Any level 10 fabled animal that is unique from the others. Nothing. Uh, it's 424, I believe, Sea Eagle. But you can also make the render distance higher by standing up on top of a mountain. Because, uh, if you didn't know, the game renders horizontal render distance. So, it's 424 meters horizontally. So, if you add verticality into the mix, you can get clear past 500 meters with some of your shots. If you're on a tall enough mountain. It primarily works on Silver Ridge Peaks on top of the really tall mountains. Hey Morgan, how's it going? <laughs> totally, bro. <laughs> totally. Uh, not necessarily, Douglas. That's primarily just to get a better view. Uh, the reason there's certain zones where it is better to put the uh, tent up on a mountain and then have a claiming tent down there as well depending on uh, the lake and how many animals you have there though like for example I could probably place like a tent well definitely not clear up there but you know like let, let's say up here but for this zone because there's a couple spots that I shoot from better to have it on top of the animals but uh, depending on the zone yes uh, being on a mountain can definitely help quite a bit with just getting a good vantage point uh, the reason he did it at the mule deer outpost for black bear was because the reeds are so tall there and there's always a ton of bears in the reeds and if you get up on top of that mountain you can see all of the bears from up there and it really helps with just getting good visibility but then there's other people that don't like grinding that way too Like, I've always preferred the, the method of having tents on top of the zones to prevent them from rendering in. That way they don't spook. I've always leaned more towards prioritizing that. Uh, my map, JD. What gun am I using for my grind? 300 Magnum for all of the non-diamond and non-rares. And then uh, 308 for diamonds and rares. Troll. There's that guy again.
Anything here? Nope. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight over to this tent then. Uh, they fixed the 308, so I'm back to using the 308, Hopi. The only reason I used the M1 was because the 308 was shooting to the right at long range. But, uh, it seems to be fixed, so we're back to 308. It's 242, what? <laughs> that is so high scoring for this rack. That's actually kind of crazy. This scored almost 243. I've never seen a troll red deer score that high. Well, this this rack at least. This troll rack has never scored that high for me. Cannon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Can you make the little pie ball the mascot until the next map reset, then kill it? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep him there. Maybe we'll try to stack up like four or five rares and then shoot them. We could leave him for a little bit longer, I guess, but probably not till the next map reset because I kind of need all the shootable stags I can get. But thank you for the super chat, dude. That's crazy, though, guys. A 242.94 scoring troll rack red deer. That's wild. I never see this thing score higher than 241. This is the biggest one I've ever killed of this uh, particular rack. Get a few different screenshots of him. Let's get the measurements as well so I can compare them later. Not going to tax him, obviously, but... Whoa, it's not, wait, it's not, it's not lagging. Um, what happened? You guys, you guys have noticed how laggy the kill screen has been recently, right? It's, I don't know what I just did, but it's not lagging now. What? That's so weird. Just out of nowhere, it's running smooth. Gosh, when it's not, when it's not lagging, it looks so good. Cool. Gotcha, Johnny. Okay. That's very strange that it's only on some of them. Works every 10 to 20 for you. Okay. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen it not lag for me. At least from what I remember. I could be forgetting some, but... It wouldn't let me shoot again. Thank you, Call of the Wild. I didn't want to shoot a second time. Let's attempt to get this thing to move. Okay. Yep, all right, well, that works. Or he could just move on his own. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't get too far in that challenge if I only shot diamonds and great ones. I would run out of diamonds to shoot very fast. Where was that three? Bro, bro, 19 months, holy. That is just insane, dude. It's actually 18 months, but okay, YouTube. Hey, what if what if it's actually 19 and you're wrong? Huh? You never know. YouTube's weird, but you never know. YouTube was right in your bad at math. Oh, told you. Called it right there, called it. Best scope really depends on your eyes, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, preference is massive when it comes to scopes. I use both scopes because I like both of them. Depending on the grind, I'll use different scopes. I like the Argus for larger game. But if I'm doing something like whitetail grinding where I'm shooting like a bazillion whitetail at closer range, then I'll use the Hyperion. But uh, for Red Deer, I like the Argus. But yeah, it really depends on the species and your grinding style. Hyperion's great for close range follow up shots and like mid range follow up shots as well. Argus is good for the 300 plus meter shots. But you can totally get good at long range Hyperion scope shots as well.
Apparently all I need to do is shoot next to their feet and they die. Fast kill, fast move. I get it. Yep, exactly. That's what we aim for. Speed is everything on a grind like this. Do I think the 338 is worth buying? Um, if you don't have access to the 300, then yes. Level six over there. Hey, just that one, it seems. Just one over there this time. Hey, Void. Uh, yeah, the elk are crazy. They are crazy good now. And, uh, what do you mean by any more changes? Like, any more changes to, uh, the elk or just in general? That's a big legendary. Is this our 10th diamond of the day? I think it is. Actually, more than 10th, probably. That's a big boy, my gosh. That is a massive one. The width on those antlers. In general, on SRP, oh, there was a ton of changes, Void. Uh, they reworked every species home range, so they're moved around the map quite a bit. There's uh, so many details. I couldn't even, like, go into all of them on stream. Because there's just too much. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of massive changes, including mountain goats not having drink times anymore. And being, like, on the left side of the map. 266 max weight. Good diamond. Uh, let's see. Okay, we've killed 14 diamonds this stream. My gosh, dude. 14 diamonds. That is just insane. Uh, Cannon, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Uh, when is merch coming back? I'm dying to get some. To be honest, I don't know, man. I have no idea when merch is coming back. I'm... I canceled my Streamlabs subscription since I can't even use Streamlabs properly without it, like, crashing and lagging. So... I'm gonna have to... I would have to find another... Another way to do merch. Because I was doing it through Streamlabs. But, um... I'm not sure when it'll be back up. Probably not soon. Possibly by the end of the year, depending on how quickly I can get some designs and stuff together. So as of now, I'm not really sure. But I appreciate all of the uh, support, dude. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream there. We've been going for about two and a half hours. So we went a little bit longer than normal. But there's a good chance that we'll be back later today, possibly streaming with Kill Clinton if he's uh, down to do it. But uh, yeah, until then, I hope you guys really enjoyed this stream. This was a fun one. Um, we were going to shoot that piebald, but I think we'll leave it until I get a few more rares to spawn. And then we'll go take them all out. But uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next stream video tomorrow. And uh, yeah, until then, peace!